For the words in the back, could you put up the words for Dear John? Is that what it's called? Sometimes I don't. I, I write and then I forget and then I don't name songs. So sometimes they're just the first letters, you know, the first words. <laughs> yeah, it's just the way it is. Um, mm. I'll never forget Mother Teresa saying these words when she spoke the National Day of Prayer. She spoke this to all the leaders of the world, but also to the United States of America. You can get it online in 1997, Mother Teresa's speech at the National Day of Prayer. And she said these words, she said, how could anyone not believe that a baby is special while in the mother's womb. When Jesus ministered to John the Baptist while still in his mother's womb. And I started reflecting on Jesus and John. So I just want to share with you tonight just the message of dear John. Jesus just wanting to speak to John the Baptist. Dear John, do you remember when our mothers met? Mama told me that they laughed. <laughs> Is that a sign for us or a sign for them when unborn babies testify? Carried between the earth and sky. Right there, you know? Sons of eternity and time. We were born, John. We were born of spirit. We were born of water. And we were born of blood. We were born, John, child of freedom, a child of promise, child of God. It's amazing, isn't it? Before you were even in your mother's womb, you're born of spirit. You're born of spirit. Say, I'm born of spirit. Yeah. God never gives up on what he creates. This is the beautiful thing about God's creation. See, humans have learned to create for human approval. God doesn't create for human approval. God creates for human discovery. So we create and then people maybe don't like what we created and then we throw it off as if it doesn't have any meaning. And God creates and nobody even notices it for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years and yet He still loves it. And He doesn't turn His back on it. And He doesn't devalue it. And He doesn't say, oh, wait until I create this next thing. Then I'll really prove myself. Right? <laughs> No, he doesn't do any of that. He doesn't, he doesn't create for human approval. He creates for human discovery. There's like still stuff in you and me that's yet to be discovered even by you and me. Yeah. Stuff that he placed inside of us when we were created that we don't even know about. Wonderful things that even maybe sometimes we're running from. I wrote a song with a friend of mine, Jesse... Goodman, she used to be Jesse Rogers. We wrote this song together. I was, I've been running trying to find my refuge. Never stopping long enough to see. All the while you were right there waiting. To hide me in the shadow of your wings. I get so thirsty trying to find your presence. That I forget to stop and take a drink.
All the while you're just right there wanting to pour your healing water over me. There's so many things that are already here. It's interesting, uh, Paul's, that second part of that chorus, Paul says that there's people that live according to the free woman and there's other people that choose to live according to the slave woman. And those that live according to, I love how the message puts it, those that live according to human effort, according to the slave woman, those that live according to human effort, that first temptation of Jesus in the wilderness, prove yourself. 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 yourself. Jesus says, be still and know that I am God. Don't prove yourself. You're already proven. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know. Be still. Be. Because be is the beginning of beginning. It's the beginning of believing. It's the beginning of becoming. It's the beginning of beautiful. It's the beginning of belonging. It's the beginning of beloved. It's the beginning of behaving. See, (laughs) trying so hard to behave. You're never going to do it by trying to prove yourself. Be. Rest in who God made you to be. Begin to discover all the things you're ignoring about wonderful things inside of you. We're born of spirit. Mm. Carried between the earth and sky. Each one of us, it's like we're suspended there, right? For nine months. (laughs) Okay, second verse. It's interesting, Paul says that the, the ones that, that, are, that live according to human effort will always be jealous of the ones that live according to divine promise. You remember what our fathers spoke? John, the silence broke down on our, on our knees. There was power in their prayers. Remember what they said, John? We're the children of their dreams. Words of acceptance split the sky. Visions of heaven filled our eyes. Whenever I think about this, I think... When I was writing it, I'll tell you that in a second. When I was writing it, I, I, I was... Of course, thinking about... Just as I was studying the scripture, writing the song, I was thinking about Jesus... And how it was so unbelievable that they, they say that 400 years of silence was broken when the Father spoke and Jesus heard. You know, I always thought that was a public event. But none of the Gospels say that it was a public event. In the sense of nobody else heard it. In fact, only the, Jesus was the only one that saw it. And one of the Gospels said that John also heard John, not everybody. A lot of times I think we think, you know, oh, wouldn't it be great if it, if it, you know, if it happened for me like it happened for Jesus. Like he, he just rips open the sky and screams down around everybody. This is my son. I'm pleased with him. Then we feel proven. And for years I thought that that's what happened to Jesus, but it didn't happen that way for Jesus. It happened that way, the same, the same way for Jesus as it happens for each of us. Oftentimes, it's private. Sometimes, maybe one other person hears it too. You're my beloved son, and on you my favor rests. You're my beloved